His brother. My nationality is Edom. Uh, we're the we're the descendants of Esau, and whom most people in this earth call uh, the white white people or the white the white race. Uh, but the Edom in the Bible comes from uh, Esau. He is the twin brother of Jacob, which you can read about in Genesis chapter 25. Uh, Esau came out red and hairy, like garment, like a garment, and um, his blood showed forth through his skin. So he was from there called uh, Esau because it meant it means red, and uh, you'll notice that white people, you know, when they get angry or whatever, their skin turns red. Any type of skin condition, it'll be red. Uh, it's it's the sleep in uh, these times. Uh, it's it's kind of sad, but. And it's also, it's actually a really good thing. It's, number one, it proves that, you know, the prophecy of the Valley of the Dead Bones, you know, how could these people wake up from their sleep, you know, at least we know that these people are asleep and now they're waking up. You know, now is the time that they need to wake up. It is, now is the time. Uh, it's getting pretty close. And they are waking up. Um, but no, the, the Negroes themselves, uh, or what they like to call themselves, or what this whole world likes to call, uh, these people are black people, but that kind of broadens the spectrum, you know, that's like, just, it's just as bad as calling a white person a white person, you know, there's different types of white people, different nations of white people, just as there are different nations of black people. There's different nations of Asian people, or so-called black people, and uh, it's black is a color. There's no such thing as color when you're naming nations. Nations comes from fathers, and uh, it's it's really ignorant to call people black people. But if you do the research, uh, the true nation, the true nationality of the so-called black people is uh, Israelite or Hebrew Israelites. The true nationality of the so-called black people is uh, Israelite uh, people who descended from uh, Jacob who was later named Israel who had 12 sons who became the 12 tribes who multiplied into the uncountable number of Israelites that are, that are as the sea, sands of the seas today. You can't count them, there's so many. Um, yes, they are Hebrew Israelites, and, uh, that's not a religion, that's not a cult, it's, it's, it's strictly a nationality bloodline of people, and, uh, it's, it's that simple, they're a bloodline, and you cannot convert into being an Israelite, you can't, you know, change to be an Israelite, you know, you are what your father was, what your forefathers are. You know, I can't claim to be an Israelite because I know for a fact that I'm an Edomite. I am, he, Israel was not my forefather, Esau was, based on the biblical descriptions. And, um, Africans, the Africans of today, uh, they're different from the Israelites. While, yes, some Israelites still do dwell in Africa after running into Africa from Israel in 70 AD, that is true. Israelites just spread across the world, across the four corners of the earth. But uh, the Africans, are the majority are Hamites. They aren't even of the seed of Shem, which is the forefather of uh, Israel or Jacob. Um... And it's very, that that's kind of the consequence of calling uh, dark colored, or people of color, uh, black people. Uh, you would never know the difference between an Israelite or a Hamite. You know, they there's a huge difference that in these times must be revealed because these are the end times and these people need to wake up because they're, the Christ is coming for these people. And if they don't know who they are, I don't know how they can be caught up with them. <laughs> you know, it's the start. You need to know who you are before you uh, make any other progress. You know, 
states in the Bible that uh, the most highest people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You know, that knowledge is thinking that uh, they're black, they're Africans, they come from Africa, the, the motherland, no. And that is very important because uh, Israel was promised a very big promise by the Most High. And in order for them to receive that, they must at least acknowledge their nationality. I can give you is Deuteronomy 28. You can clearly read how they fell and they would be cursed in the future uh, to come over on cargo slave ships. And they did. That was the, uh, yeah. American slave trade, <laughs> sorry, the American, er, continental, Atlantic slave trade, whatever it's officially called, uh, that was their curse, and that was brought about by the Most High, because they fell as a nation, they sinned, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's really clear, like, no other people on the earth ever, uh, went into slavery by cargo slave ships, except these so-called, you know, African Americans, which are clearly Israelites because of this very prophecy, this very active thing happening. Uh, Revelations 1 and 14, you know, it clearly, uh, 14 through 17, I'm sure, uh, clearly states that Christ, who himself was an Israelite, uh, his feet were as a burnt brass, a burnt fiery brass, which uh, you could simply google search bronze brass burnt. It will look exactly like a black person's skin tone, like spot on exactly. It's undeniable. Um, and Revelations 2 and 9, the people in Israel today who got there, you know, 1948, they're not Israelites. They come from uh, Khazaria. The Khazarian Empire. They're not even Jew. They're not even close to Jews. They're my people. <laughs> uh, we're Edomites. We're not even close to Israel. Well, I guess we're the twins, but I still can't. I can't call myself Israel because I'm the twin. It doesn't work like that. And yeah, Revelations 2 and 9 states, you know, the people over there, and you can put together, are the synagogue of Satan. They're uh, you know, the Most High knows the tribulations that the true Israelites are going through in these times, you know. You know, uh, the slave ships, all the way to Planned Parenthood, these vaccines, you know, the rich oppressing these people who just so happen to be the poor of the earth. Uh, it's discrimination, lynching, like, so many terrible things that uh, the other nations have conspired against these uh, chosen people of the Most High. Uh, the people in Israel are the opposite of the Israelites. You know, they only want to destroy them. They're only there for political reasons. They're not even there to, uh, like, follow the Most High by any means. It's all, it's all just a huge, like, reverse, reverse deception that everyone has fallen for because, uh, the forefathers, our forefathers, you know, our grandparents didn't know this, really. So how could they possibly teach us and prevent us from this knowledge? But, you know, now is the time. People know now. Now is the time to wake up from your sleep, Israel. Yeshia is coming. Christ is coming for you and for all those in his name. And uh, that's very important that you know who you are. Joseph's brothers, uh, just an exa as an example, Joseph, his brothers came to Egypt looking for food and Joseph was second in command of Egypt all praise to the Most High for that blessing uh, but his brothers didn't even recognize him because uh, common sense would tell you their, their, their time wasn't very far from Noah and people weren't mixing all that much at that time and people looked pretty similar and especially in skin color especially since there had before Esau, there had been no white, so-called white people in the earth at that time. So it's easy to perceive that 
his brothers wouldn't even recognize him because, you know, obviously they hadn't seen him for a while, but he looked physically like ev pretty much everybody else. Everybody looked, uh, they all had dark skin, you know, and even Moses, you know, the Pharaoh had ordered all the firstborn Israelites to be thrown into the Nile for the gators to eat up, and... <laughs> He didn't even realize that Moses wasn't was a Hebrew the entire time he raised him from birth, or his uh, wife or handmaiden. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I mean it's it's clear that uh, even Paul Paul was mistaken to be an Egyptian, who are definitely historically proven by our world standards to be uh, people of color, like color like so-called black people the Egyptians and uh, Paul he was mistaken to be an Egyptian because he was a person of color time you look into the fact that the Israelites were people of color it will always be true you'll never ever see in the Bible any proof that they are people or that they ma match any description of the people in Israel today for example people in Israel today do not by any means match the biblical description of who the true Israelites are. Uh, and with that, I'm going to say shalom. I hope you all got some information and knowledge and understanding from this because uh, now is the time for these people to wake up and it's time to stop being ignorant to this fact. Because Christ is coming whether you acknowledge it or not. It'd be better that you acknowledge it and accept Christ rather than uh, acknowledge, not acknowledge it and just the worst happen. God forbid. You know, and I pray for that all Israelites stumble across this message. Not this particular message, but the message of who they are. Hey, it, it is very important that uh, Israelites that do wake up realize that that's the only way that the Gentile nations will ever know the truth. They, it, it is very important that uh, Israelites that do wake up realize that that's the only way that the Gentile nations will ever know the truth is that is if they bring it forth because for 99.9% .9 of the uh, people in the earth of Gentiles that are bringing forth, uh, you know, words out of the Bible, they're lacing it with deception, and, you know, the Israelites, they got the spirit on them, you know, linking in with the most high, it's where they don't do that, <laughs> as long as they're doing it right, and it's through them that the gospel should be, you know, spread throughout the earth, and, you know, through them, uh, salvation will be shown, you know, they're the ones that are supposed to show us who Yeshia is, who the Christ is, and that Yeshia is the way, the truth, and the light, and no man goes to the Father but through him, but first you even have to have that information, and you must get that information, you know, it's important for you Israelites to get that information out, because you are the light to the Gentiles. And you know, I just want to read a section out of John, uh, St. John, chapter 4, verse 22. It says, Ye worship, ye know not what we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews, and Christ is not through any of the other nations. You know, that's very clear. The Most High gave the promise to the Israelites, children of Israel. And it's just, you gotta wake up and spread this light throughout the world, it's time for people to start coming back to the Father. Great Awakening as it has begun and it is in progress. You know, the birthing pains are happening and Most High is ready to deliver His people back into their land and into the Kingdom and it's going to be great. So I just, I pray to the Most High that all Israelites that are called by Him take heed to that calling and, you know, spread the light to all the Gentiles. I appreciate the one that showed me the light, and every other Gentile would appreciate it too, you know, and all praise to the Father for that.
And with that, I'm going to say shalom, and I hope you take heed to these words.